about the thimble hooks. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to make a half and half granny square. It's half solid and half granny clusters. And I thought I already done this, but my daughter said, I just can't figure this one out. So I said, okay, well, why don't you just follow mine? And she said, you didn't make one yet. All right, so I'm doing it today. Whoopsie, I thought I already done this ages ago. So we're gonna do half and half. And it's really, really simple. You can see half of it is granny clusters and the other side is a solid with no gaps. There's some persimmon here and I'm using Karen Simply Soft today and a four millimeter hook. This is mango. This is one of my favorite colors. I finally found some. It is so hard to come by. So let's get started. If you're not familiar with the Magic Circle, I have a tutorial on my channel that's only a couple minutes long. It's really easy. So all we do is go around like this, under, pull, twist, grab, and pull. Totally easy. So easy. And there's our magic circle. And we're going to start out with a chain three, which is going to count as a double crochet, which is not something I normally do, but it works best here. One, two, three chains. And now to continue, we're going to do two double crochets. One and two. And we made ourselves a nice little granny cluster. Just like a traditional granny square, starting with the three double crochets. Now normally we would go a chain two right here, but I am going to do a triple crochet, which is two yarn overs, one, two, and that is going to take the place, this one, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. That is going to take the place of one of these corners because it belongs right here. Now let's mark that triple crochet so it's easy to find. And then on the other side of that, we want to do another granny cluster. So there's three more double crochets. So there you go. There's a three, and then there's a triple crochet, and then there's three. Now it's time for the two, chain two and another granny cluster, which is three double crochets. One, two, and three. We need one more corner. So chain two and three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Easy peasy. And now we get to do the magic part of our magic circle. So you just pull, boom. And there's one corner here that's marked. That will be this side. And there's a corner, and there's a corner, and now we need to turn this into a corner right in here because it's not connected yet. So let's connect. We are going to yarn over, and in this very top loop of our chain three, we are going to do what I consider a kind of a sideways half double crochet. So we yarn over and pull through all three. There, now we have everything in a nice little square. And then remember, this is our triple crochet, so we know what we're doing. So inside, for round two, we're going to work into this corner chain space here, or the half double crochet space, really. And we're going to chain three, which also counts as a double crochet, turn our work, and start working the other direction. In this chain space, since this one counts, we want to add two, because we're working on our granny cluster side. One double crochet, whoopsie, and two. So we have just done half of this corner. Whoops. We have done half of this corner right here. We want to jump over to the next corner, chain one, and jump right into this corner space, this chain two space, with a corner of a granny square with normal granny clusters, which is three double crochets, right there, chain two, and in that same space we're going to put in another cluster of three double crochets, one, two, and three. So there's one corner. Now we chain one and jump over to this next corner. And half of this corner is going to be our granny clusters, right in here. 
and the other half of the corner is going to be for our solid side. So we jump over here and do our granny cluster of three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two. And now we want to work on the other side here, which is a solid. So instead of a set of three double crochets, we're just going to do two. Two double crochets. One and two. So now we get to work the other side, which is our solid granny square. So in the top of these three double crochets, we want to work a double crochet in the top of each one of those. Not a cluster, one in each stitch. There's a double and a double and a double. So there's three right there. Now we're to our mark stitch and that is a corner right here. How you make a corner for a solid granny square with no gaps is two double crochets in the same space, this marked space. And I'm going to take this out because I'll be needing it again in just a second. Now we're going to do one triple crochet, which is two yarn overs in that same space. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And let's mark that one again so it's just always obvious to us. So there's half. We did two double crochets and a triple. And now to complete that corner is two more double crochets. There we go. So it was two doubles, a triple, and two doubles. Now we want to work into these three right here, in this next grouping right here. Right on the top of each one of these stitches is a double crochet. One, two, and three. Okay, so we just worked down the side. Now we have to finish our original corner because so remember we just put a granny cluster in here but we need to have it be a full corner. So we are going to put in our two double crochets right there in that same space as, we, as when we began, totally like when we began. And now we have to make these connect. So we are going to do another half double crochet in our very top loop, it's kind of a sideways half double crochet. Get our top loop, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. Now it's starting to take shape. You can see it a little bit, but since we're only on round two it doesn't show quite as much, but you can see this side is only grannies, clusters, and this side is solid. So we're going to do that again. One, two, three again. One, two, three. And we're going to turn our work. And since we're working on this side, remember our corner is two double crochets and a triple and two double crochets. So what we want to do on this is half of our corner. So this counts as a double crochet. So we want to add one more. So there's two, just like there is two over here and two right here. Now we want to work down the side again in each one of these stitches. Double crochet on top of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're back to our marker. Yay! So we get to make another corner. So remember, a corner for a solid granny is two double crochets in the same space, a triple crochet, which is two yarn overs. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through, oops, and pull through two. So there's our triple crochet. And we're going to move our stitch marker to keep track of that triple until you get your hang of it. So you can always find your triple crochet. And then on the other side of that, counts as like the corner chain two space on the other sides. 
we want to do two double crochets to finish our corner. And we're going to work down this side. There'll be seven double crochets again on the top of each one of these stitches down to this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, and here is number seven. And now we're at a corner. So we have to do half of our corner, which is two double crochets, because this is just finishing out this half of a solid granny square. Chain two for the chain space. And then on the other side, we want to make a granny cluster. So it's three doubles. One, two, and three. Now we get to work this side like a normal, traditional granny cluster side. So you chain one, jump to this next chain space, and do three double crochets in a cluster. One, two, three, and chain one in between. Now we made it to our corner. So remember, a corner was a cluster, chain two, and a cluster. So here's a cluster of three double crochets. Chain two. And three more double crochets to finish a granny cluster corner. We have a little bit more of this side. Let's see, because there are clusters because there's this big space right here. So we're chain one and jump over to that space with another granny cluster. One, two, and three. Chain one, and now we want to finish this corner. So we're going to do one cluster of three double crochets to finish the corner, and now we have to connect those. There's our two from this side. And here's our granny cluster from this side, but they need to connect. So we're going to do another one of those little sideways half double crochets into the top chain of our chain three. Right at the very top little loop. Right there. Yarn and over, pull through, pull through all three. And there you go. Now that we did our third row, one, two, three, it's noticeable. So what I like to do here, one tiny difference going forward and everything else will be just following the same, the same idea. We're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And since we are working towards the granny cluster side, this one counts. So we need two more in that corner. One and two for half of the corner with the granny cluster. Chain one jump over to our space right here. One, two, and three. Chain one, jump over to the next space. One, two, three. And chain one, and here's our corner. The only thing that's going to change for every row going forward is we're going to make our little cluster, but in between our clusters, we're going to chain three. Two, three double crochets. Chain three. Going forward, that's how we're going to do all of our corners and then another cluster of three doubles. You can see we're still working on granny clusters, so we'll chain one, jump over to this next space, and another cluster of three double crochet. One, 
two, three, and chain one and jump to the next one because there's another one right there. One, two, and three. I'm going to chain one and jump over to our corner. Remember this is a half and half so we want to do a cluster here which is three double crochets. One, two, and three. because we're finishing off this side. Chain three, one, two, three. And then on this side is only two double crochets because that's how we make a solid granny. One and two. So it's a half and half corner. Now we're going to follow down all the way again. Double crochets on top of each stitch. and 11 and we're back to our corner. Both sides will be for the solid granny square right here. So in this corner space I just removed my marker from is two doubles in the same space, a triple which is two yarn overs and we'll pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two and two double crochets on the other side of our triple in that same space. And now we just work down this side again with 11 more double crochets. 10 and 11. Now we're not done yet because we didn't finish this corner. That's so why doing this in solid color is actually a little bit harder than doing it in two colors, which I'm going to show you in my next video. Right here we have to finish this corner, so it's two double crochets because we are on the solid part of our split granny square. Now we'll go into the top loop of our chain three with a half double crochet. And now that you've got the hang of it, you can just keep going and going and going and make this one that's about six inches wide. One, two, three, four, five, six rounds. I thought it turned out perfectly and this one is in persimmon. Same. It's about six inches wide. You can make them as wide or as narrow as you want. The only change is you're all done and you want to be, you want to finish off because this is exactly the size that you want it to be. Instead of doing our little sideways half double crochet, we're going to chain two and then slip stitch into our third chain to make our last corner. And then you can finish off any way you want, just like that. And it's done. Easy peasy. Snip. And you just have to weave in an end. This one is probably in good enough so you could just snip it. But there you go. Isn't that so easy and half and half? You could make a beautiful little throw afghan out of this. Just keep going and going and going and going. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thank you. Bye.